Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys ranked single battles in Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you do enjoy these ranked battles, make sure you smash that like button, click that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, for the first team that we will be using for ranked single battles, it is a Titar Escadrille Sand Team right here. This team is awesome, it has plenty to do, it covers a lot of ground, and it's honing one of my favorite Pokemon, which is Escadrille. So let's go over to the team right here, we are rocking a... Dragapult, Assault Vest Dragapult. We got our Chandelure with our, what is that? Room Service, in case we want to play Trick Room. It lowers the speed of our Chandelure, so he will actually be faster in a Trick Room. We got our Leftovers Gyarados, a Life Orb Titar. We got our Focus Sash, Exedril, and our Light Clay Inteleon, in case we want to play Light Screens or Reflect. The Light Clay will actually make it go more turns. But I love this team so much. This team is awesome. We got Sand Rush on our Exedril, so if Titar can set the Sandstorm, our extra drill actually doubles speed in sand and he can just murk. He's rocking sword dance with it in case we want to try to sweep. Same thing with Gyarados. He has dragon dance in case we want to sweep with him and all that good stuff. So we cover a lot of ground with this team. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here we go. Hopping into the first battle right here. You can see our opponent's team right here is rocking a Lapras, a Duraludon, a Poltergeist, a Dragapult. What is that? A Pimuki Mew and a Ferrothorn. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. But looking at his team, I see he has... What's called that? The Raladon, that Dragapult. So we're going to need something to take that out. That is actually going to be tough. I'm trying to think. But he doesn't have a lot to counter my um my T-Tar Excadrill either. Except for that Lapras. So if we can get that Lapras out the way, I think we could be golden. You guys know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking we're actually going to be rocking out either Dragapult or Gyarados with our T-Tar and Excadrill. Let me look it over again. He has that Ferrothorn, which um that could be scary. That could be scary considering that can wipe out our T-Tar and our Excadrill. So, I'm thinking he's actually going to bring that and the Lapras. So, I'm thinking if we actually roll out with our Dragapult, we can actually just lead with our Dragapult. Because I think that's our safest bet. Lead him with the Dragapult. Because if he leads with that, that's fine too. So, that's exactly what we are going to be doing. We're going to be leading with our Assault Vest, Dragapult. Then running into our Life Orb, Titar, and our Excadrill. But let's go. I'm actually not rocking Rapid Spin. On my Excadrill, I actually rock and Rock Slide. In case we want a Dynamax, we can use... Giant Rock Fall, Max Rock Fall, and if it falls, it can reset the Sandstorm or start one up in case I want to run that extra drill without that T-Tar. We can actually do so. But yo, if you guys do enjoy this content and would like to see me build teams, make sure you follow my Twitch. Link will be in the description below. It is tons of fun. You guys definitely should go check me out. Genius25 on Twitch. But let's see who he is leading with. He is actually leading with this Duraludon, which is actually not bad for us. Um, Dragon isn't super effective, but smart play by us to actually lead with our Dragapult because... It's always a safe move. It's always a safe move. Um, what are we going to do right off the bat? I think we're just going to go straight for... Uh... Now, we're actually going to drop into a Phantom Force right here. Because I don't think he's going to actually stack up. He might actually drop a Reflect. That is actually our fault. We actually probably should have Dragon Rush and thought this one through. Let's see. I think he's going to drop a Reflect or a Light Screen. That's usually Duraldon's rollout. No, he's going to go Metal Burst, which is actually nice, dude. It's going to fail. We're going to get our next shot in. Let's see. He might switch out knowing that this Ghost move is coming after us. Let's see what he actually does. Let's see what he does. We are actually going to get this Phantom Force off. See how much we, we can do. Well, not bad damage. Not bad. Pretty solid. Push him down past half. He's got a Metal Burst. It's still super effective to us. Oh, no. What does that do? No, we can eat that up. That is a physical move. We eat that up. We're actually going to go right into a Dragon Rush. Try to pull off a Flinch right here. Hopefully this move lands. I think it's a 75% accuracy. Well, 75 accuracy. But I actually like to roll this better than Dragon Call. Because if you can get this off, it's high risk, high reward right here. This thing can do some damage. It is base power 100. It is phenomenal. So let's actually see what he is going to do here. Let's see. We get this Dragon Rush. Oh, and we land it. Let's go. Hopefully, we can actually make him flinch. And then just uh, maybe like U-turn out. Now, I don't actually do not want to U-turn out. He's going to Stealth Rock right here. This is my only problem with not running, what's it called, on my extra drill. Not running Rapid Spin on my extra drill. You see it here and there, and it works out pretty well. Um, we're going to go straight for a Sucker Punch. See if we can actually kill him with this Sucker Punch. But I actually should have just went for the Phantom Force, to be honest with you guys. Because hopefully this kills. Oh, dude, I knew it wasn't going to kill. I'm mm. Okay, luckily we did avoid the attack. Let's see what he's going to do. Um, I'm just going to drop into a Phantom Force. I'm going to play it safe. Drop into this Phantom Force right here. Because this usually hits. Because Sucker Punch, if he's not rolling um, an attack move, it's not going to hit. Dragon Rush attack isn't too high. So Phantom Force is kind of the safe play to do. It, I know it's going to hit usually. 
So it's pretty solid. It better hit now. There we go. Take out his Duraldon and his first Pokemon. We are rocking out right here. Yo, rank battles are so much fun. I'm planning on making a rain team for the next rank battle video. I'm actually hyped for that. Like I said, if you want to see me build a team, make sure you follow me on Twitch at Jeans25. I'm going to be doing build building teams and shiny hunt and all that. But he's going to be rocking out with his Dragapult. Um, what should I do? What should I go? I might go straight for this Dynamax right here and try to one-shot him. And hopefully I'm faster. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do. We're, we're going to go for this Max Phantom, Phantomism right here. We're going to Dynamax right off the bat. Hopefully, he doesn't Dynamax. If he does not, we will definitely outspeed, and we have a potential to one-shot him. So that's what I'm hoping here, because this is probably going to be my toughest part right here. It's going to be this Dragapult. If we can actually take this Dragapult out right here, that would be huge. We can have our Dragapult, and we can have our T-Tar and our Excadrill to just run this out in the end, which is perfect, dude. That is gonna be our main team right there, that Excadrill. He's gonna get off our first shot on me, but we eat that up, considering I Dynamax right there, so I'm thinking we're gonna be able to one-shot this bad boy. Say night-night, Dragapult. See you later, fool. Let's go. We're still rocking our life for Pitar. That is supposed to be our big sweeper guy. Same thing with our Excadrill, our focus has Excadrill right there, but dude, we are just murking in this first battle, which is awesome. Haven't even showed you guys any other Pokemon. We're just rocking out with our Dynamax Dragapult. And he has this Lapras, and this is actually probably... This could sweep. I'm not going to say we won this battle already, but this could sweep. Not going to lie. We're going to rock out with the Max Phantanism again, because if we do land this, we can actually drop the Lapras' defense with it, So, which is nice. We should outspeed. I'm, yeah, we should 100% outspeed and, and at least get the defense drop. Then we're going to roll into our T-Tart to actually get the sand rolling before we actually roll out our extra drill, because our extra drill gets double speed in sand, which is just awesome. Let's go. Look at this bad boy. This thing is enormous. <laughs> so you get so the battle formats are 3v3. You get to pick your three from the six from looking at their six Pokemon and all that. And then you get one Dynamax per go. Let's see how we do. Come on, drop its defense. If we can drop his defense, that'll be wonderful. I know it's gonna ice beam and probably take us out. There you go. Defense spell right there. It's gonna go max hailstorm. That will actually eat us up. And that's the only problem. That is the only problem we're going to have. If this thing keeps Max Hailstorming or Max Geysering, it is actually going to keep eating up our, what's it called? Our Sandstorm. That's going to be tough with our Extra Drill, considering our Extra Drill uses that to double speed. But the Lapras isn't too fast. I think our Extra Drill should outspeed regardless of the Sandstorm or not. But let's see what happens. We're going to roll into our... We're going to go right into our T-Tart right here. Our Life Orb T-Tart. They have a chance of one shot in it. But this thing is pretty tanky. I, I'm hoping it can take a hit. I'm not 100% it is going to take a hit, but if we can actually get... Oh, jeez. Oh, good thing we actually took the Sandstorm for right now. But the uh, Stealth Rocks actually did do damage to us, which isn't too bad. We're not fine, but we're going to rock right into the Stone Edge right here. Try to dig this in here because I think we can actually finish off this match if we can land it. Oh, we do outspeed. And there we go. Finish off that first rank battle match and get that W. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. Let's get it. Hopping into match two, baby. We are going up against a guy with a Mimikyu, Dragapult, Toxtricity, what is this, a Frostmoth, a Ferrothorn, and a Gyarados. Okay, okay. Look at that team. He has that Ice, dude. Our extra drill could dumpster on that. There's that Ice Pokemon, which isn't too bad. I'm worried about that Mimikyu. I don't think the Mimikyu would be too bad, but I'm thinking of actually rocking out with our Dragapult once again in that front spot, leading with our, I mean, then following up with our Excadrill and our Gyarados. How's that looking? Hmm, let's see this again. Let's see. Let me look at the team. He's got that Mimikyu. I know that Mimikyu is probably going to lead. So Dragapult is going to be the safe lead once again. So I'm thinking we're going to rock out with our Dragapult, like I said. Then Gyarados and Extra Drill. We're going to run the Extra Drill without the T-Tar. But like I said, I have Rock Slide on it. So if we Dynamax, we can actually send the Rock Slide or the Max Rock Ball, and it will reset a Sandstorm by itself. So we can actually run the Extra Drill without the T-Tar, which is just awesome. But yeah, I'm trying to think. I think we got this one. I think if we roll out with the Dragapult right off the bat, we can actually... I think it's they're leading either the Mimikyu or the uh, the Dragapult. So I'm backing on that happening. Because if they lead the Mimikyu or the Dragapult, our Dragapult is going to outspeed the Mimikyu. Be able to knock off this guy's, eat up a shot because we have the Assault Vest. And then if he leads the Dragapult, that's fine. I'm going to take the risk that we're outspeeding. Or I might just Dynamax right off the bat, throw him off, and take out that Dragapult in one hit. So let's go. Let's hop into the second battle here. Let's see if we can go back to back W's here. I love this team so much, especially I love running Extra Drill. I didn't actually get to use him in the last battle, but yo, Extra Drill rocks. You get him into Sandstorm, woo, there's no beating him because I believe Sandstorm improves damage for rock moves and all that. Plus, his speed is doubled in the sand. 
which is awesome. But there we go. I knew we'd see the rock and that dragon pole or that Mimikyu in the front spot. So I'm thinking of actually just dumpstering this thing right off the bat by going th for a Dynamax. Or do I go straight for a Dragon Rush? But I don't want him to outspeed me and actually merc me. So I'm actually going to play it safe. And I'm going to go... Or is he rocking the... What's it called? Or is he rocking the Phantom Force too? Or do I go for the Sucker Punch? Because if he rocks an attack move, we're going to Sucker Punch. Yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a Sucker Punch off. See if we can actually slap him up. Let's see. He's going to Dynamax. Dude, I should have Dynamax. I knew it. I knew I should have Dynamax. <laughs> That is bogus. That is bogus. See, dude, I overthink myself. I'm like, uh, what's he gonna do? I didn't think he was gonna Dynamax, actually, but he actually did. I knew I should've Dynamax and just dumpstered him right off the bat. I knew I should've, because I believe we could've outsped him. My EVs are leveled up. I'm max IV'd. Yeah, but we're going to get a nice little sucker punch off on him, do some damage, and he is probably going to eat us up right here. I could probably say bye-bye to our, uh, Dragon Bolt. Yep, see you, Dragon Bolt. See, dude, that's what I should've done. I should've Dynamax right there and just dumpstered on him. That's what I should have done. Just absolutely murked on this fool. But we didn't play it. We didn't do it. Okay, should we go out to a Gyarados? I think we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go out to a Gyarados. I think we're going to Dynamax. No, I do not really want to Dynamax or Gyarados. I really don't want to Dynamax or Gyarados here. I kind of want to save the Dynamax for our Excadrill. Because we can actually roll out, like I said, and drop that. Uh, the what's all get the sand. So I'm rolling with the Excadrill. But we're actually going to roll out with an Ice Fang. Praying to get a nice little freeze. Yo, if we can get a freeze off here, I know he can eat up a hit. No doubt in my mind he can eat up a hit. And, but, that Dragon Ball's gonna outspeed. Dragon Ball is one of the fastest Pokemon within this game, so. There it goes. Gonna use a Max Steel Spike. We'll be able to eat that up. No problem. Give me that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Woo wee, dude. Dude, I EV trained him for HP and attack. Yo, which is nice, but what is he gonna raise? His defense? Not, not too chappy. We're gonna get a freeze here anyway. Watch this, guys. Watch this freeze, baby. Come on. Nope, no freeze, but we're going to heal up with our leftovers right here. We'll be able to eat up another shot here, which is nice. So, Gyarados is nice. I knew I should have just dumpstered this thing with my Dynamax. Oh, my lord. We could have just murked on this thing. Going to use this. We'll be able to eat this up also. No problem. No problem. There we go. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ate that up. Didn't die. Should have went with that right off the bat. But I'm thinking we can still win this match. Hands down. So, watch. Yeah, we take this thing out. Then we still have our Dynamax left, which is nice. But our, what's called, our Gyarados is going to fall right here. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Our Gyarados is done. This thing is going to outspeed. We're going to pray to avoid an attack. That would be huge. That would be huge. But we're going to go same thing. We're going to go with the nice little Ice Fang here. I was trying to get the freeze. But he's going to go Dragon Darts. Take out our, what's it called? Our Gyarados. But that's no big deal. I'm just hoping that our, what's it called, will outspeed. Our Dynamax X control because we can actually probably run this if we can get this sandstorm rolling. Oh, we dude We can get going here. We could get going. There's potential to get going I know we can survive a hit. We have a focus sash on but here we go We're gonna go with this max rock fall set up this sandstorm I know we are not we actually could outspeed a Dynamax X control has potential to outspeed this considering we are fully EV trained unless this thing is just fully Stacked on with speed with its EV trains and its IV is a perfect IV speed which I wouldn't be surprised if it is because this Dragapult, the Dragapult's base speed is through the roof. So adding on everything is just absolutely ridiculous. But there we go. We got 370 health. Focus Sash Excadrill. Let's see. No, he's going to use Dragon Darts. We'll eat that up. No problem. That's fine. He goes with a double hit because that's what Dragon Darts does. Shoots two of them. But our Excadrill, Excadrill will actually finish off this Dragapult right here. And we're going to set up Sandstorm. So we are going to be outspeeding for the rest of the match right here. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Depending on his next two Pokemon. Could be a little scary, but let's go. Sandstorm is rocking out. I believe rock moves get a boost, and we get that speed boost. But yo, Exit Jewel slams, dude. I love him so much. I'm actually feeling this match. I feel like we can potentially win this match, even though, like, you go down 2-0 right off the bat. Like, you're fine. You're fine. That's the thing about Pokemon battles. Like, he uses Dynamax early. I have my Dynamax advantage right here. Now he's popping off with this Toxtricity, and we're just going to max quake this thing and take it out in one shot. No problem, unless it's rocking a Focus Sash. We will outspeed, and we will dumpster this thing, unless it's rocking a Focus Sash. Let's go. Max quake. Boom. See you later, Toxtricity. You are done for, buddy. You are done for. Dumpstered. Oh, he's rocking Focus Sash. Okay. I don't know what he's going to do. What is he going to do? Is he going to Toxic us? I can see that being the only thing he, he does, but our special defense is going to raise. He's going to fire punch us. We'll be able to eat that up, especially with that special defense boost right there. But the thing... Oh, sweet! 
Cool, cool, cool. The Sandstorm. I forgot about that. Buffets him, takes him out, and we get one last shot with our Dynamax X Control. We will go first, so we're going to just hopefully send it on this Pokemon and just dumpster him, put him away. Yo, let's go, dude. The Sandstorm is so clutch, dude. This is why Extra Drill is one of my favorite Pokemon, dude. He's so much fun to play. But Frostmoth, that is going to be the game, I believe. That is going to be the game. Like I said, we are just dumpstering with Extra Drill. Oh, my lord, yo. Such a good call to actually bring out our Extra Drill without our T-Tar and rock with that Gyarados instead of the T-Tar. But let's go. See you later, Frostmoth. And boom, Extra Drill comes up clutch and rocks out for us and wins us that match. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Here we go. Hopping into our third match right here. Looking to go three wins in a row with this team. This guy's rocking an Obstagoon, Excadrill, Grimmsnarl, Water Rotom, Togekiss, and the Snorlax right there. Ooh, wee. We got this team going. Um, First thoughts right here is I, he's probably leading that Rotom. That Water Rotom right there. And I don't really have anything to take out Water type. So, best lead would probably be our Dragon Ball. Hands down. We might not even get to play Chandelure in this video, considering that is just like a special Pokemon right there. So, that's like a tough, like, that's only certain occasions we are going to run it. But I would love to show you guys some Inteleon gameplay in this battle. So, I think we're going to rock out with our Dragapult. Or should we go Gyarados? No, because if he rocks that Rotom, he can Volt Switch out. He can just tank us up there. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we're going to want to roll our extra drill out in this battle. So we can actually max Frock Fall, that Toga Kiss, the Grim Snarl, we can actually do a uh, max Steel Spike with it. And the Obstagoon, we can actually probably Merc with something else. So I think we're going to go Dragapult, lead him with our Dragapult, have that Light Clay Inteleon next, and then rock out with our Extra Drill in the back end here. So that is exactly who we're going to run off of. I know you guys are probably like, yo, dude, that Extra Drill you use a lot. This is an Extra Drill team right here. This team is made for Extra Drill to sweep out here. We have Sword Dance on him. We actually haven't had a chance to show that off yet. Same thing with the Gyarados. If you have a chance to set up D-Dances with your Gyarados or Sword Dance with your Extra Drill, you got to take those. Like, if you know you have that element of Venge, that thing is not knocking on you, you make that move, dude. That could be a huge play and actually win you the match in general. Well, let's go. We're actually going to rock out with the Gyarados. I mean, not our Gyarados, our Dragapult. The reason I'm rocking out Dragapult, I think he's going to lead with this Rotom. Not going to lie. He rocks with the Grimstarl, which is actually a smart play. I think he saw us leading our Dragapult, which is huge. We might have to actually hard swap out here. But we do outspeed. We're actually just going to U-turn out here. We're just going to send a quick U-turn, bounce back, and probably go into our... Um, we go into our extra drill right off the bat. Is a real question. I'm thinking we might go into our extra drill right off the bat. Go Dynamaxing. Outspeed. Hit him with that max steel spike and then max rock fall. Set up that sandstorm, which will be nice. He's going to substitute, which is actually very, very smart here. Hopefully, our U turn can actually merc and take out the substitute, which will be huge. Take it out. Take it out. And we crit it. Take it out. Yes! <laughs> Luckily, we didn't get that crit. We are going to roll out to our extra drill right here. Considering that Grim Snarl has a fairy type move, that could actually start murking up on my, uh, what's it called? My Dragapult. So we're just going to U-turn out, save our uh, extra drill, or not our extra drill, our Dragapult for later terms, for later terms, which is nice. And we're going to go straight into a Dynamax Max Steel Spike right here. I don't think he's, he's going to switch out. Because if he does switch out, I'm going to be mad. I, I was thinking of Swords Dancing. <laughs> Because if you could Sword Dance, that's plus two attack. That would have been huge. Let's see what he actually goes for here. I see him rocking out with a Sucker Punch, but we have a Focus Sash. We are chilling. We're, we're just fine. We are just fine. We're going to go with our Max Steel Spike. And this should actually just tap it up, considering it's already down health with its, what's it called? Because it's using Substitute. We're going to rock out, dude. Our Pokemon are all Dynamax Candy up. So look how much health we get. We get 370. We're rocking out here. We should outspeed. He's going to drop a Reflect, you hunk of junk. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad, because if we can actually get down our reflect, we will be chilling. Let's see how we roll out here. Still take it out. Nope, does not take it out. Do we see a Max Rockfall actually taking it out? Let's see. What's going to raise? Our defense going to raise. That is actually huge. I think we're just going to go for another Max Steel Spike here, and then Max Rockfall the next turn. Does that thing really outspeed us? Actually, yeah, I can see it Max outspeed us. Okay, that's fine. That's fine by me. You're just He's just fading out our turns right here. That's exactly what he is doing. He's actually just fading out our turns for our Dynamax, which is smart by him. He's just going to substitute, fade out his turns.
or waste our Dynamax turns. But we're going to max Rock Ball here, set up the Sandstorm for a later play. But our defense is plus two right now. So if he's rocking a physical attack team, that could be huge if we can actually get this max Rock Ball off here. We can actually Sandstorm. And I'm thinking of Swords Dancing. I'm thinking of Swords Dancing depending on what Pokemon he is actually going to drop. He's going to drop a Light Screen here. That's fine by me. We are not a special attacking team. So that's kind of just a waste of turns. Actually, my, my what's called is. So this thing could be like Clay. My Italian is... But I would love to drop a nice little uh, reflect with my Italian. If I can get him out here, we might be able to sweep with our what's it called right here. With our extra drill. We got him rocking in the sandstorm right here. But let's see who he's going to poke out here. If he has that water road, Tom, we might have to switch out into our Italian. And that would be the perfect time to make a read there. Say he's going to rock that uh, water move. Switch out. Because we have the sandstorm already down. We're fine. We're going to switch out. Then pop a reflect. But if he does, he might actually kill us. He's going to rock this extra drill here. And he's going to have Mold Breaker here. So we do outspeed. We do 100% outspeed. Because he is not rocking Sand Rush. He's not rocking Sand Rush. We could just go straight for an EQ. Or we could set up a Swords Dance. What's the call? I'm saying this thing's Focus Sash. So I'm going to go straight into the EQ. We're going to outspeed. Try and knock off this thing's Focus Sash. Instead of Swords Dance and having this thing 2-tap us and say Night Night. That's our plan right here. That is our plan. Because if it's not Focus Sash, we'll just dumpster this thing. It's game over for him. Well, let's see. Let's see. What, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? We're going to EQ. Is this thing Focus Sash? Oh, he has that Reflect up. He has that Reflect. It's not too bad. What is he? He's going to EQ us. I don't think we're going to eat this up. But oh, we are Focus Sash. Of course, we eat it up. But and our defense is plus two. So we're actually going to just take this thing out right here. So see you later. What are we? Silver Dragapult and our Inteleon, which is nice. But he still has Dynamax, doesn't he? He still has a Dynamax Pokemon. That's what we got to watch out for. We have our Inteleon. I think we're going to rock out our Inteleon no matter what in our next thing and try to drop a Reflect. Kind of get that barrier going for our Dragapult to kind of end off the match. It really does depend on what Pokemon he is actually rocking. Because I can see him rocking. I don't think he, he threw that Rotom in there. But there we go. That extra drill is done. There we go. We are up. We still have all three of our Pokemon. And we have the Sandstorm for, I believe, another turn. I believe we have the Sandstorm for one more turn. Which we, we can actually get a hit off here with. That would be nice. That would be nice. So let's see. Who is he going to send out here? The Rotom. I knew he was rocking that Rotom. This is actually our troublesome Pokemon right here. We cannot EQ. We're going to go for the Rock Slide. If we get a flinch off here, that would be beautiful. We are going to outspeed this Rotom. No problem because we are rocking in the Sandstorm. I think even if he's Dynamax, we are fine. We are fine. Unless he's rocking like Volt Switch or something. Which I don't even think does damage to us because we are a ground Pokemon. I don't even think it does damage to us. Which is fine. We should be able to rock out here. Just get a nice little shot off here. But we're actually... I gotta show you guys something. Luckily, we still do have our Dragapult. Our Dragapult should totally outspeed this thing. I don't know if we should rock out into our Dragapult right here. Hopefully, we made a flinch. Make it flinch! Nope. It's gonna use Max Star to just eat us up. Um, I'm gonna roll out into our... Intel we ate that up, boy! We ate that up! My plus two defense is eating that up, dude. Extra Jewel is an absolute unit right here. Absolute unit. And we have Sandstorm for another turn. If we can make this thing flinch, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. We're going to outspeed. Get another Rock Slide off. Wow. Make this thing flinch. Make it flinch. No, Max Geyser. Why do you roll out with Max Geyser in the beginning? That would have stopped my Sandstorm and all that. This guy's got to think a little bit more, ladies and gents. This guy's got to think a little bit more. But he's going to have an electric move right here. But the thing about this is, I see us outspeeding him with the what's it called? With the Inteleon. So if I can drop a Reflect, that can actually help us out in the late game. I think we get, we're going to try to get a Reflect down. And this thing's just going to dumpster our Inteleon. He's just going to do his job with the Reflect, which is what we kind of want right here. Right, this thing's a physical attacker. I believe it's a physical attacker. Let's see. Actually, I'm not too sure now, but <laughs> we're going to drop a Reflect here. Let's see how he does. He's going to go with the Max Thunder. Max Lightning, yeah. Let's eat that up. Eat it up with the Reflect. Nope. Is that a special move? I believe all those are physical moves. That's fine. He's going to go with the electrical terrain here. But that's exactly what I wanted was to set up that uh, reflect right there to eat some damage up. The reflect wears off with that? Are you serious? I didn't even know that. But what we're going to actually do is rock out with this Dragapult. And I want to show you guys something. This is why I rock Phantom Force with my Dragapult. I can actually waste big turns with the Rotom. But that should be his last turn. Okay, yeah. But if he was Dynamax, I would just Phantom Force. Have him miss me. Waste a turn right there. Right then and there. What is he going to do right off the bat? What should we do? 
We're gonna go straight into a Dragon Rush. Or do we go for a Phantom Force? We're gonna go for a Dragon Rush. That's fine. I don't see this thing outspeeding us. Yeah, it's not. Dragon Rush will actually do some work on it. Take its damage down a little bit more. And we're just gonna Sucker Punch this next play. I think we're just gonna Sucker Punch this next play. Guarantee that first hit. So... Let's end off this battle, baby. Is that three in a row? Is that three in a row? What is that? What is that? Let's go. Sucker Punch. Night, night, Rotom. That is the game. Let's go, baby. Let's hop into actually one more battle for this video to show off the scene once again. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our last battle here. This guy's rocking a Hydreigon, a Gastrodon, Sylveon, Fire Rotom, Angie Slash, and Corbin Knight. We are actually going to be rocking out our Chandelure right here. Our Chandelier can actually do some nice little work on this team. So we're going to be rocking out our Chandelier, but not in our front spot. Who else is he rocking here? Um, I kind of want to show off a little bit more Inteleon, but I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to show off some Inteleon here. I think we're going to lead with our Dragapult. Inteleon is nice for uh, setting up Reflex and all that. But I think we're going to go with Dragapult, Chandelier. Or do we go T-Tar, Extra Drill, Chandelure? I want my Extra Drill and Chandelure in here. 100%. 100% we're going to roll out with them too. They're good. Or do we roll Gyarados instead of Extra Drill? And we go Chandelure, Gyarados. I think that might be the play. Would it be the play? No. We're going to go out with Chandelure, Extra Drill. But we're going to be leading with our T-Tar or Dragon Ball. Hmm. Hmm. That's real questions. These are real questions. These are real questions. I feel like we lead with a Dragapult, considering he's rocking that high, high Dragon and all that. I believe we do lead with that. So we're going to go Dragapult, we're going to rock Chandelure in the back end, and our Extra Drill right here, which is perfect for me, actually. I'll actually take that. No problem, no biggie, which is fine. I think our only problem is going to be either that high Dragon or that Gastrodon coming through. That's going to be our problems right there. Because I see him either leading with that Angie Slash or that high Dragon. So I just went with the safe play, went with my Dragon Ball, my Dragon Ball can eat up a few shots. He's going to actually lead with the Gastrodon, which is fine by me. We got this ground and water type. Do I think it's rocking Ice Beam though? The can this thing learn Ice Beam? I can see it actually learn Ice Beam. So we are actually going to... We're going to go down into a Phantom Force. We're going to go down to a Phantom Force and see if this thing is actually rocking Ice Beam. We're going to drop down here. We're going to vanish. And make this thing miss. Let's see what moves this thing is actually rocking. Ice Beam. It is rocking a Ice Beam. But we are actually in Assault Vest. So we can actually eat up this next hit. Which is not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're hoping it misses like crazy. But our Assault Vest will actually make us eat this thing up. Let's go. Phantom Force here. Beal. Nice little damage there. If we actually drop into another Phantom Force. We will be fine. He's going to Scald us. Go for the burn. He's going to go for the burn here. I think we're just going to go straight for this Dragon Rush. And just finish this thing off here. Let's go. Let's go straight into this Dragon Rush. We will outspeed. Hands down. Hands down, we are outspeeding. I'm hoping it does like a hard swap into like a this Hydreigon. We can do some work. Come on. Here's that hard swap. Show me the Hydreigon or something. Sylveon. Can we do some work on the Sylveon with this Dragon? Oh, it's shiny. You got a shiny Sylveon. That thing is beautiful. I give you mad props. And are you kidding me? It doesn't affect. That was a nice read right there. Um, What are we going to go with? Do we hard swap out too? That's the real question. This thing's going to be able to one tap us. But who do we swap out to? We swap out. Ooh. I kind of want to save our Chandelure here. Kind of want to save our Chandelure here. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're just going to go U-turn him. Why would I just hard swap when I have U-turn? <laughs> we can deal a little bit of damage. But we are going to U-turn out into our extra drill right here. We are going to go U-turn into our extra drill. Which is not bad. It's not very effective. But still, it gets some work done. Let's see. We're going to go straight into our extra drill. And save our Chandelure. Is that the plan? Do we save our Chandelure? Yeah, we're going to go straight into this extra drill, which is fine. Which is fine. But boy, look at that shiny Sylveon, yo. Thing is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. But we do need to save our Dragapult here. He's going to use Hyper Voice. Should be able to eat that up. No problem at all. Let's go eat that up. Do we go and start a... What's it called? I think we're going to go Max Steel Spike right here. Raise our defense and get a nice little shot off. Hopefully, this can actually take it out. But I actually need to save my Dragon Pole. That's why I switched out. That Gastrodon can actually just murk on my Chandelure and my Exegel. So we need that Dragon Pole. That Dragon Pole is a must. Is a must. We go first with it. That Gastrodon's done if we keep this Exegel in this battle here. But hopefully we do outspeed and get the first shot. I hope I see us outspeeding this thing. Let's see. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. We go back to back Dynamax here. 
We're gonna both Dynamax. This thing can probably. I'm hoping we can just Merc on it. I'm hoping we can finish it off, waste this Dynamax, and get running here. We got our Chandelure in the back end, which who would be our next go to. But if this thing outspeeds us and takes us out, I'm gonna be mad. Come on. Yes, we get the outspeed. Let's go with this Max Heal Spike. Can we do some work on this bad boy? Take it out. Ooh. Ooh, no takeout, no takeout, that's fine. Hopefully we can eat up this next shot. But our defense is going to raise, which is awesome. But I think this thing, is this thing a special attack? Max Flare, what do you mean? He's rocking Max Flare. And we eat it up perfect. We're going to outspeed. We're going to drop a Max Rock Ball on here. Get this Sandstorm rolling. Let's go. What's that? That's going to cause out some heat here, which is no big deal. Let's drop this Max Rock Ball. Get this Sandstorm rolling, dude. Thank God we ate that shot up. It was kind of like a perfect trade. He's going to use Max Guard here. That's, that's fine. That's fine. You're just going to waste my turns out because you know you're going to go down. But still, I think if they use Max Guard, it should still change that weather. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? It should still, the Max Fall should still come down and change the weather on this match. But there we go. We're going to just run this again. She's just wasting a turn with the Max Guard. But dude, that shiny Sylveon is beautiful. You're going to withdraw Sylveon. Wow. Wow. And he actually just wants to see what we were going to drop. He's going to probably drop out that Gastrodon again, which is fine by me. That's fine by me. Your Gastrodon is done. It's done. That was that's fine by me. We're gonna set up Sandstorm and get the next hit anyway. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Perfect. Sandstorm's gonna rush up here. We have Sand Rush on our extra Joel, which is beauty. What a beaut. What a beaut. Look at our boy. Look at our boy. Now we're going to roll out with this EQ. We're gonna roll out with this EQ and actually finish off this Gastrodon here. No problem. Unless you're going to hard swap again, which I really don't mind. We're going to get a hit off regardless. We are we outspeed in the sandstorm. Bye, Gastrodon. See you later. Okay, Gastrodon is dead. We're going to get a next hit. Who does he have? He has a Sylveon. Is, and we don't know the last one, right? So I don't mind if he goes into Sylveon. The Sylveon will die. It depends what his next Pokemon is. His final Pokemon. An Angie Slash right here. We're going to get one shot off on this thing. We cannot EQ. We're going to have to go for a Max Rock Slide. Which is fine. We're going to actually try to make it flinch. This thing has Levitate, so that's why we cannot go for that ground move right here. But this is exactly why I am rocking the Chandelure right here. Exactly why. I'm, he's going to use King Shield. Like, what are you trying to do? Run out this Sandstorm? The Sandstorm is only beneficial to my Excadrill, which is fine. Like, you're just stalling it. You're just stalling at this point. But there we go. We still have that Chandelure. And he has that Sylveon, which is fine. We are chilling. We're chilling. Get this rock side. Can we make this thing flinch? I know we're not going to do like any damage, but still, little's better than, better than nothing. Flinch! Stance change. He's actually going to take out our Exegel here. Imagine if we just eat this up. That'd be hilarious. That would be absolutely hilarious. He's going to Shadow Ball. Oh! You Spy Exegel. You did your work, buddy. You did your work. It's okay. Luckily, we got that Chandelure. This was for the eight. I brought my Chandelure just for this instance. We got this, uh, what's it called? Was it, it was for the Angie Slash and that Corviknight he had in his party. And I knew he was definitely bringing that Angie Slash, so. I ain't even worried. I ain't even worried. We're going to rock straight out into a nice little flamethrower here. Hopefully we can. I don't. Are we going to outspeed? Chandler's kind of a slow Pokemon. So is Angie Slash. Angie Slash is going to stance change and probably go into another King Shield. Which is fine by me. Yep, another King Shield. That's fine. That is fine. Who's he rocking to Sylveon? We're just going to. I'm just going to throw out another. What's it called on him? I'm just going to throw out another flamethrower on him. That's fine. It's really not a big deal. He does go first, so he is going to get a whack on us first. Do I hard swap? No. We're not going to hard swap. I don't think... I don't see this thing one shot on us. Oh, we do go first. We actually do outspeed it. Can we take it out? Take it out. Let's go, dude. Chandelure coming up big, baby. Dude, I love Chandelure's design and everything about him. But like I said, he comes in special occasions, and this is a perfect example of it. This guy's rolling the Angie Slash team on us. We're going to rock out with the Chandelure. And now he's just down to Sylveon. That is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. But, dude, that shiny Sylveon, I give you props. We're going to show you a little bit of a Shadow Ball here. Let's go. Get the Shadow Ball rolling. And, ladies and gentlemen, 4 for 4 with this team. We crushing it, dude. We absolutely crushing it. Like I said, if you want to see more gameplay from me, let me know in the comment section down below. More ranked battles. If you have any questions about ranked battles, make sure you leave me in the comment section down below. I answer everybody's thing. But there we go. Four for four wins. That is exactly how it is done. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword, let me know in the comment section down below. Smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, 
Follow me on Twitch at Gene25. Link is in the description below if you guys want to come around, ask me questions about Pokemon. We do shiny hunting over there. We're going to be doing building competitive teams and all that good stuff. So follow me over there so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.